welcome to another episode of Exploring Round Lake with Lance. When I first came to Round Lake back in 2003, I thought it interesting that we weren't able to walk all the way around the lake. Uh, there were a couple issues there. Uh, the first issue was there wasn't a trail, so that kind of made it difficult. The second issue is we didn't own the entire lake, so we couldn't even walk across the other side, uh, just in respect to the neighbors. So um, in 2010, I decided I was going to cut in a trail. But now that we've purchased that last piece of land, which stands right back there behind me, we're able to walk all the way around. But as I was building the trail, there was something I discovered, and that's what I really want to talk about today. Just a little piece of history, which I don't know a whole lot about. Round Lake was purchased in 1949, and there was a couple original buildings here at the time. Uh, two of them were boathouses. Uh, today, in our swimming area on the campsite, uh, stands a boathouse that's still there. I'm going to show you one that's not there, and a lot of people don't know what it is. So we're going to discover that today. So yeah, when I first got here, the only way to get to the other side of the lake on the property was this service road. Still there. We still use it. Try to keep cars off of it and just run golf carts and gators and service equipment through there. Uh, it's kind of tight, but it's a pretty road to walk on. I'll take you on that someday. But just to the left of that, there's a little trail that never used to exist. Back in 2010, I started back in a tractor and a gator in here. Started cutting and pulling and digging and came up with this little trail. Just kind of fun. A little swampy this time of year. We should be able to walk through here. I do know that the new section, clear on the other side of the lake at the new property, is very swampy. We have some issues we're trying to deal with over there in trying to get the trail dried up so we can walk through there without you getting your feet muddy. This is actually the pump house for the golf course. Not much in here. You see there's just a pump. It takes care of all the water at the golf course. When we bought the golf course back in 2015, this was just a beat up old shack. Everybody wondered what it was. So we tore it down. No longer there. trail can be buggy at times, but it's very peaceful. That same year we built that trail, our Connect Camp, which is our high school week of camp, built a series of these uh, benches, put them on the trail, makes it a little bit more enjoyable to walk around. I'd have to say that last bench and this bench coming up here are probably my two favorite benches to sit at and relax and enjoy the view. Now we're coming up on the piece of history I wanted to talk about a little bit. 
when I was building this trail, I was also had a dilemma of getting around this, which I really didn't know what it was at first, but I couldn't go up. Up there you can see the service road, so it's kind of a steep hill. Just wasn't a way really to get around this thing, so a few railroad ties and uh, believe it or not, the little wooden approach right there and the wooden approach on the other side actually were parts of an old 13 foot climbing wall that was on our initiative course. So I repurposed those and they've been there ever since. But uh, the foundation is really kind of hard to see at times. This is a very narrow section of the foundation. Now I know it's kind of grown up in here a little bit, but if you look really close, you'll see a footer kind of goes out there toward the edge, back in that corner, kind of lose it right in there a little bit, comes back across here, and then turns and does this real narrow one right through here. Now, according to the picture that I will post right here, you'll see it sort of makes a little bit of sense. This section here was a actually a garaged area where you actually opened the door and you pulled the boat in, which was kind of unique. This area out here had a bigger section with a porch and an actual swimming area out in front of it. I have talked to some of the old timers that were around here back when the camp purchased the lake. Uh, this building was here. Uh, people actually did stay in it. Some of the original lifeguards talked about staying in this building. But in this shot right here, you can actually see across the lake, the boathouse that still stands as a part of our waterfront area at the camp. Pretty cool stuff. Wish I had more information. I just have an old black and white picture that I'll show you. With this area here. But if you walk the trail, around the lake you should be able to run into this and next time you'll know it's a very short section of trail uh, but it was probably the most critical to get done because there was nothing here there was no way to get back here there was no way to get a tractor back in here until we just whittled our way through got clear over to the lodge waterfront and hit one more obstacle and that was our water slide. Just recently we've been able to take out a few more trees so that we can actually get a tractor back in here because it was hard to get past this point to do anything. But when I broke out here in 2010 with my trail, I thought, sweet, I'm here. But then I kind of ran into another dilemma. That was the water slide. Coming up on that right now. The water slide. So, my biggest dilemma was how to get around it, so we solved that problem. We just went over it. This is the water slide all the kids enjoy in the summertime. Comes from the gazebo at the lodge. So on another day, we'll keep going because at this, up until 2016, this was the end of the trail. You could kind of go out past there just a little bit, past that boat down there, and then you were off of our property. That trail now is still under development, but eventually you'll be able to get all the way around there without getting your feet wet. Pretty excited about that. Well, that concludes today's episode of Exploring Round Lake with Lance. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip through the trail uh, to take a look at the old boathouse foundation.
next time you're at Round Lake, I hope you can get all the way around the lake and just explore a little bit. And we'll catch you next time on Exploring Round Lake with Lance.